Thank you very much indeed, Barry. And can I echo Barry's words as the Secretary of the Cabinet Branch of Unison? Well done. Congratulations to all of you who have come out on strike today, joined this demonstration, and crucially have been on picket lines outside your workplaces, in some cases since 6.30 this morning. Well done for this courageous and determined stand. Today's action is the second strike action you have taken in a battle for a real living wage and for dignity at work against an employer which Barry has mentioned has its tentacles on contracts up and down the country. The single biggest of them in London is here in Camden, worth nearly £45 million pounds and it has another three years to run. Now, your action on the 11th and 12th of July was almost absolutely solid. And my impression is that whilst there were fewer people on picket lines, virtually every member of the branch on the Camden NSL contract did not go to work today. And I'm absolutely convinced that if this employer, NSL, claims they operated anything approaching a normal service, it is a bald-faced lie. But I'm afraid we're getting used to bald-faced lies from this employer. Many of you will have received a letter on Tuesday afternoon signed by Mr. David Sinclair, the regional manager for NSL. He implied in that letter that, in fact, they were making a better pay offer than after the 11th and 12th of July strike. In fact, they have had the cheek to offer worse pay than before the 11th and 12th of July. They are only offering an increase to 21 pence an hour to the bare minimum of the London living wage of £8.30. And much as we welcome the fact that this Labour Controlled Council in Camden has finally agreed to the introduction of London living wage on future contracts, £8.30 in 2012 in London is simply not enough to enjoy a decent standard of living for one adult, never mind the whole family. So your battle is obviously very important to you, to each and every one of you, but it's also important to everyone in our branch and to Unison members and other trade unionists up and down the country confronting the reality of low pay against the backdrop of a recession and very high unemployment. It's a courageous and determined stand that you've taken and I'm sure from what I've seen today you are prepared to do more to win a reasonable living wage and to stand up for your own dignity in the workplace against a bullying tight-fisted private sector employer. Thank you very much and well done once more. Okay, before